So 10 years ago um, I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis and I was a, in charge of, I was a nurse in the A&E department and um, I'd just become a father and my life really just felt at that point that it had fallen apart. My dreams were to work on the air ambulance uh, and to uh, save people's lives but unfortunately that wasn't going to be and so at that time um, I'd been brought up in the Christian faith and I had a strong faith when I was younger but having been worked in A&E and seen the distressing things that I'd seen I had lots of questions and lots of uncertainties and it was just a really hard time and, and I remember going into church and not being able to sing some of the songs just that everyone around me was kind of going off thinking don't you know and it was at that moment that uh, some of the people came around and started talking to me about what I was going through. And they prayed with me. I wasn't healed, I wasn't, didn't, but something happened. And I remember then going away and having a conversation about prayer, uh, well, a conversation with God. And really, I just let my, I let him have two barrels because I was so angry, so upset, so, so hacked off with what was going on. And God answered. And you know, things started to change in my life. No, I wasn't healed. No, I didn't. Um, you know, miraculously, my life didn't get transformed. But it was in that conversation with God, or in my case, a shouting match with God, that actually I met with God. And I remember being told once that God is big enough to hear our cries of our hearts. You know, often we think about prayer and we think of it being something that we pray to God for. So like a shopping list. And yet, and whilst I think, you know, it's healthy to ask God because he wants to give us good things, I'm reminded also of that traffic light system where it's red, you know, for God saying no. Amber, not yet, and green, absolutely. But God has actually intervened in my life. And as I say, I'm, I'm not healed, I have my bad days, but I know I have this assurance. I have this assurance that God is with me in amongst all of the messiness of life and actually that gives me heart my hope it gives my heart joy and uh, and why i think it's so important when we pray that god does answer not necessarily in the ways we want him to not necessarily in the ways that um, we think he should but he does answer and it's okay to have questions as well